Machine learning is one of the best methods for identifying patterns in large data sets, and now you can apply this powerful tool to your trading strategies. Plutus is a standalone machine learning program designed for MetaTrader 4 and compatible with any trading platform that has an API. With Plutus, you can use different machine learning algorithms to search for correlations amongst indicators you specify and your preferred buy and sell points, which are added to your data using an automated function. Plutus can be used as a fully automated trading solution, including an open source trade handler that can be customized with additional trading rules, or as an indicator only. Plutus can be used to trade any asset class or instrument on any time frame. Plutus is a supervised machine learning classification system that will generate one of three signals on each new bar, buy, sell, or do nothing. The system is highly customizable and can be configured to trade in accordance with your risk tolerance and trading style. You can run multiple instances of Plutus at once to trade multiple instruments simultaneously. Plutus is cutting-edge technology for gaining a statistical advantage in your trading. It takes advantage of the powerful machine learning features of MATLAB packaged into a convenient graphical user interface. In this screenshot you can see the classifications, which are created at the open of each new bar, and the indicators used to generate them. Despite making several incorrect classifications, the majority were correct, and it generated a profit over this trading session. Here is the same chart without the indicators shown. Using Plutus is simple, and you can begin training and testing machine learning classifiers in minutes. Please continue watching for instructions on getting started. Before you get started, create a shortcut to your MetaTrader data folder. To do this, click on File, Open Data Folder, and create a shortcut as needed. For Mac users, right-click on your MetaTrader file in your application directory. Click on Show Package Contents and then navigate down to your MetaTrader folder. Drag the folder to your Finder window to create the necessary shortcut. Using the shortcut you just created, copy and paste the Plutus Companion EA to the Experts directory under MQL4. Double-click the file to open it in the MetaTrader editor, and click Compile. Then right-click on Expert Advisors in MetaTrader, click Refresh, and you will see the Plutus Companion EA. You can modify it to suit your needs. Before you can begin using Plutus, you need to set the indicators you want to use in the source code. Scroll down to about line 550 and you can see where you set your indicators. See the user guide for more details. Make sure that you use the variable I for the bar shift when setting your indicators. Before you attempt to download data for Plutus, make sure you have this data in MetaTrader. Click on Tools, Options, then select the Charts tab and make sure your max bars in history and max bars in chart are set to values that you like. Next, click on Tools and select History Center. Then take a look at the pair you would like to download data for and make sure you have the requisite number of records in the database. Use the download button to obtain any missing data.
When you attach the EA to a chart, the options dialog will appear. The Plutus Companion EA will set its own magic number and data file names. But you can change these default values in the source code. Set the file name and the data size for the symbol you wish to download and click Get History. You will see the status indicated in the upper left hand corner of the chart. First, launch Plutus. Plutus may take 10 to 30 seconds to load depending on your hardware. This is normal for MATLAB compiled apps. When first launched, all of the fields in Plutus are grayed out. Start by clicking on Training. The first thing you need to do is import historical data for training. Each panel contains a help window pop-up if you are unsure what to put in each field. The user manual also contains an explanation of all fields. Use the browse button and select your MetaTrader files directory using the shortcut you created earlier. Make sure the name of your history file is the same that you specified in the Plutus Companion EA. By default, this is historydata.txt. If you trade several instruments, you may wish to use more descriptive naming. Select your desired feature extraction and click Import Historical Data for Training. Now that your data has been imported, it must be labeled. Refer to the Help dialog or the User Manual if you are unsure what to put in each field. Single bar labeling will evaluate each bar individually instead of the next 10 forward bars. After you click Label Data, the labeling statistics are shown in the panel window. If you view the labeled data, buy and sell classifications are marked as blue and red respectively. Green and magenta bars are up and down bars that were not classified as a buy or sell. You can zoom, pan, and scroll the data. You can also right click and select Reset Original View. Once you have labeled your data, you are now ready to train a classifier. Select your algorithm of choice. There is plenty of free research available on the internet on all of these classifier types. Any of these are suitable for trading, depending on your indicators and trading strategy. You can also incorporate additional trading rules in the Plutus Companion EA to filter out certain signals generated by Plutus during trading. For this demonstration, we will use a KNN classifier with a Euclidean distance metric and three nearest neighbors. You can select different types of validation for your classifier. For this demo, we will use no validation, which performs the validation on the entire training set. Note that the validation type you select will not affect the classifications made by that classifier. So, irrespective of the validation type that you choose, your classifier will perform the same classifications. Enter a name for your classifier, and then click on Train and Save Classifier. Depending on the size of your historical data and the type of classifier you choose, Training times can vary greatly. 
This particular classifier took about three minutes to train. Once training is complete, the confusion matrix is displayed on the screen. Now that you have a trained classifier, you can move on to testing or trading. You can use the integrated backtester to get an idea of how your classifier will perform. Make sure you do not include the bars you wish to test in your history slash training data. The backtester results show detailed trade statistic information as well as a chart with the trades overlaid blue for buy and red for sell. The open bar and close bar for each trade is displayed in the statistics window. Other test metrics, as well as an equity curve, are also displayed. It is not necessary to run a backtest every time you train a classifier, but in setting up your strategy, they are certainly useful. However, during regular training of a live classifier, you may wish to use the most recent data for training and therefore would have no data for testing. Once you are ready to start receiving live classifications, set your bar data file name and the classification file name. You can generally leave the heart rate set to 1, however, you can lower this if desired. Click Start and Plutus will begin working. You should receive a classification right away, and the system will continue to give new classifications on each new bar. As you can see, the classification for short has been drawn on the chart. A trade has not been entered because my auto trading function is set to off for this demonstration. If you wish to use Plutus as an indicator only, you can use it in this mode.